Hi Gemini, this is going to be your reading for December 2020. We'll be checking how you're ending the year. We'll be seeing your recent past, current and near future energies with some advice cards at the end. So without further ado, let's get into it. I'm getting a bit anxious as I do this. So you might be feeling some anxiety right now, Gems, for whoever this reading is. And let's see what we got here. Justice and trusting, temperance in reverse. Yeah, you might be feeling very anxious about certain decision that you need to make, Gemini. Okay, I don't know why this looks so far on the camera. Go. Okay, um, let me just see if I can bring it closer. Yeah, okay. But this is your recent past. Now remember guys, time is fluid. Uh, rule, roles can also be reversed. Okay, energies can be vice versa. Ten of Cups, okay. Oh, oh, um, very interesting. Gemini, as usual, this reading is all over the place, okay. Um, let's see. Let's clarify these cards. Because you got the Ten of Cups and then the Four of Wands. Mm hmm. Okay. A choice between two people, Gemini. I think there was a choice between two people. I'm not seeing. If I see another three, that would make sense. But I see that there is a choice between two people. In your recent past, you've chosen to go in a certain direction. You might have cut someone out because you chose to be with someone else okay you could have been torn between two people or entertaining two people but then you picked to stuck uh, stick with one person for some reason though it wasn't easy on you um it's almost like you're not really feeling very sure about the decision you made the person you chose to be with definitely made you really happy and still makes you really happy. You might just already have a family with them because we've got the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles, which is an amazing energy. Um, you can definitely be dealing with a soulmate here because it's ultimate happiness. Like, I don't see you guys breaking up here, but there's some issues, okay? That's what I'm picking up right now. So you're with someone that you're very happy with you do see long-term happiness with them you do see that potential in them um you might already have kids with them or a pet with them but there is some sort of imbalance during this month through this month there's some sort of imbalance there's some sort of conflict because someone is being a bit closed off someone's being a little defensive someone's being a bit emotionally closed off four of wands in reverse which makes you doubt that whether or not this person actually have that long-term potential brings you some sort of emotional instability but i can see that going away but however still someone is being defensive here um oh my god okay i just got a very specific message Okay, this reading just did a 360. Okay. Gemini, you might have proposed to your girlfriend or your boyfriend or whoever it is that you're with. You might have proposed to move in together, to get married, or just to take the relationship to the next level. And this person could have turned you down. This person could have turned you down. This could be the other way around. You could have turned them down, okay? Please take it as it resonates. But someone is getting turned down. Someone's getting rejected. If you've been thinking about proposing, moving forward to your partner, Gemini, I feel like you're going to get turned down if you do it this month. Um, We'll see why exactly, okay? But I feel like this person is not on the same page as you. 
this person doesn't want to add stress to this relationship right now okay the moon also shows me it, you could be dealing with a water sign there scorpio cancer pisces um but what i see here is that there's something some secrets that are coming out okay that might okay you might not have proposed yet you might just be thinking about a gemini to take it to the next level with this person and then you find some information some secrets come out some information comes out that makes you doubt your decision you start doubting what you want to do you start doubting the proposal you want to make because of these secrets for some reason this like this is an amazing energy and i can see this relationship working out in the long run but right now i feel like i feel like it might be too soon gemini okay it might be too soon right now if you're if you've been thinking about doing something like that it might be too soon we've got the four, that, that's interesting because me and my gemini like just got engaged so that's interesting hmm that's funny because we're also moving in together but I, this is interesting so i feel like it's just too soon for you you're being the secrets that are coming out might make you feel like that this person is not ready for that move it doesn't change the fact that there is a lot of long-term potential okay it doesn't change that it doesn't take away from that but right now there's not enough stability and ace of pentacles shows me that offer of stability being rejected by the four of cups so this could possibly get rejected interesting read gemini three of pentacles in your near future so i feel like this hasn't happened yet um and I'm sorry, guys, if this is bad news. Remember, you can always take different actions. You can always shift your energy. That is something you're always in control of. So, you know, I'm just a messenger. I'm just ch channeling a message here. But I feel that this person and you are just not on the same page. Four of Swords. Okay, let's see the outcome, okay? Let's see the outcome. And then we'll dig into the actions here. Or you know what? actually hold on let's do why this person let's first see why this person is being so defensive towards my gemini why what are these secrets why is this happening the devil interesting you could be dealing with a capricorn um gemini i feel like this person has some negative patterns okay negative attachments this person could still this part this could be a depressed person okay your partner could be someone who struggles with mental health perhaps okay but this person has some negativity that they need to break away from okay this person has some inner battles that they need to win still before they can move forward with you um I just feel like that this is a person who thinks very negatively. Okay, when things start going well, maybe they just start going into this downward spiral where they're just picking apart the happiness. They're trying to find a way. And, you know, a lot of people go through that. A lot of people have that negative um, pattern of thoughts, you know. They just happen when you're happy, okay. They could have, you know they could have mental health issues that they could have had bad experiences in the past some traumas that have built up to this where they do this when they're really happy in a relationship they start picking it apart by thinking of all the reasons why it shouldn't work or, or how it wouldn't work you know and um, i don't think it has anything to do with you gems i don't think it's you it is them okay um, I think it's their issues. Uh, what are your actions towards them? Ten of Wands, okay. Whew. 
you're feeling burdened. You're feeling like you're carrying all the burden. That's three tens. So this cycle might be coming to a completion by which I mean that you're not really breaking up. Okay, I'm going to say this. But when this information comes out, you might think of, you know, slowing down a bit in this relationship and that might make you feel really burdened because you're like um where did this come from i thought we were all happy i thought everything was going really well and now this is coming out um i don't know what to do here like we're not on the same page i thought we were we were just so happy like what happened all of a sudden this could have already happened gemini okay uh time is fluid and tarot but i feel like that you're going to just be feeling really burdened by it. I'm not seeing a breakup though. I am not seeing a breakup. I'm just seeing someone being turned out of moving forward. But I also feel like that you haven't talked about it yet for some reason. Okay. I feel like that this issue, this negative thinking, the secret comes out. These negative emotions come out before you can make that offer. Okay. And then that kind of like makes you feel bad you know obviously you know you're ready you're all happy you're ready to move forward with someone and all of a sudden they're like hold on i have to open this whole bag of negativity and uh, here are so many reasons why we shouldn't move forward and then you're like oh this person's on a completely different page and they let me think that we were on the same page they let me think we were really happy and now this is coming out of nowhere so i guess i it's a lot of, I'm sorry, Gemini's, like, it's, I know it's not a good read, but you know, it is what it is, I'm just a reader, um, remember, we can always change that, okay, we can always manifest better energy into our life, but this is what I'm seeing so far, let's see what the outcome is for my Gemini's. King of Swords in reverse. Yeah, I don't think uh, there will be a lack of mental clarity. Gemini, this whole situation is leaving you feel very confused about where you stand with this person. It's leaving you confused about a lot of things. But I feel like you're being very understanding at the same time. You're not really being unsupportive. You're not being mean. You're still being there for this person. You're still trying to be understanding. You're still trying to be loving and affectionate. And you're not giving up on it, but you're you're struggling. You're struggling, but you're not really letting that change how you treat this person. You're still treating them well. You're still being their partner. You know, you're helping them. I think that's how 2021 is ending for you. You're going to be feeling a bit anxious, feeling a bit confused by your partner. And yes, this reading is for couples or people already involved in connections. Okay, because that's what came out here. Um, this is a general reading. So if it doesn't resonate, the message isn't for you. And you know, um, like I said, manifesting a better energy. I am doing a 21-day free life coaching um, challenge okay i'm starting that on january 1st um you can apply to that i will leave the information for that in the description box down below um more details on that is free of cost and whatnot but it's a group coaching thing just a challenge there's just going to be certain tasks you can also check out my video that i did um explaining exactly what that is if you would like to learn a little about that you know it's it's just something i'm putting out it's just a free resource for you to start out the year in the right headspace okay but this is what i see for you gemini um you're gonna be feeling a little conflicted okay a bit foggy but i think you're still going to stay with this person i'm not seeing a breakup though okay i'm not seeing a breakup i'm just seeing trying to be supportive of someone who's kind of hurting you or it's just like your plans of moving forward are being kind of stopped because someone else is defensive, okay? Someone else is not on the same page as you. And I'm not seeing any fault of your own, okay? You could be the one who was not ready, maybe. 
I don't know what's happening here. Please take this reading as it resonates. It's a very weird reading today. Let's see what the Star Seed Oracle has for you, gems. Okay. You got the love. You got, you got the love. Hadarian energy, codependency, and boundaries. So, Gemini, um, you might need to build some boundaries when it comes to this connection, okay? This relationship. Um, you might be very codependent on each other. That could be the devil card here too. Okay. Um, which needs to change. Okay. You got the love. But you also need to not make that love the only source of love in your life. You have to be your own source of energy. Your own source of love. Just so it doesn't depend on other people's actions. It doesn't depend on what other people are doing and not doing you know it's it's being your own source of happiness your own source of sunshine sunlight okay um so you don't have to depend on other people so if you are in a very codependent relationship you might have to build some boundaries because i feel like someone else is being very defensive and the reason might be that there's a lack of boundaries between you. Let's see what the Rebel deck has for you. We've got make better fucking choices. If you are pissed at where you are, then stop taking yourself there. Then we've got, you need a big fucking hug. Squeeze. So you need a hug. Also, if you are not happy with where you are, stop taking yourself there, Geminis. Overall, I don't see, okay, I promise I am not picking up a breakup here. I am not seeing that energy, but I see a lot of defensiveness. There is some sort of rejection in moving forward here, okay? So... Gemini, that might be something you want to, you know, if you feel like that this resonates with you and if you feel that you've been moving really fast in your relationship, you might just want to, you know, take some time here, okay? Uh, take some time to analyze where the other person is from, coming from, okay? Sometimes when we're in love and we're happy and when we're in a relationship, we get so occupied with how we're feeling that we forget to see how the other person's feeling, you know. So take your rose-colored glasses off, okay, and ask your partner, how are you, okay? This is what I have for you guys. I will see you guys next time, and thank you for watching.